I love pizza and honestly I've tried so many different versions of pizza and there was one time during the quarantine that I was eating pizza every single day for seven days straight so if you haven't watched that video make sure you check it out to compare pizzas from different pizza joints I made a review videos eating pizza every single day and ranking my favorite pizza from the favorite to the least favorite I would say and also I had a follow-up video about like what happened after after I ate pizza seven days straight. I ate everything pizza for every single meal and it was actually a pretty good experience but all good things come with a cost. A lot of times when I eat pizza I felt like there's a lot of carbs uh, let alone the cheese and everything. So recently one of my subscribers actually recommended me to try the cauliflower crust pizza because this is one of the ways to potentially reduce the carbs in a pizza. Originally I was a little bit skeptical but later I tried the cauliflower rice stir fry and it was actually pretty amazing. So that just opened so many doors and I'm now obsessed with everything with cauliflower. So in today's video we're going to try the roasted vegetable flavor for the cauliflower crust pizza. Just in case you're a vegetarian, I personally know a lot of vegetarian, not vegan though because it has cheese, but this is definitely vegetarian. So it has zucchini, red, yellow, green bell peppers, onions, and three cheese. friend welcome or welcome back to my channel this is miss Ming. on my channel i do a variety of lifestyle videos vlog videos and food review videos in today's video we're going to review another costco food item this is the milton's craft baker's thin and crispy cauliflower crust pizza roasted vegetable flavor Ta-da! another item that we recently found in costco and i'm so excited to try it out today to see if it's actually any good before we start don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out any future food review videos and other vlogs and lifestyle content in this channel and let's get into today's cooking. So essentially instead of a regular flour crust uh, instead of the bread you are actually eating cauliflower crust. So in each box there are actually two pizzas. Yeah definitely of a great value. Um, there are eight servings per carton which contains two pizzas. So every quarter of pizza is 230 calories, 8 grams of fat, um, some cholesterol, 570 milligrams of sodium, 27 grams of carbohydrates, um, and 12 grams of protein. So I definitely think that nutrition wise it's definitely a little bit better compared to regular pizza. So we are going to try this out. As you can tell, I'm in front of my oven and I'm actually preheating it right now. Just first preheat the oven to 425 Fahrenheit degrees, remove the overall wrap and cardboard, and for best results, cook pizza from frozen, do not use baking sheets. Interesting, do not use baking sheets. Place the pizza directly on the center oven rack. So don't put it on the top rack, I want to say. Put it on the center and bake for 12 to 15 minutes until the cheese is golden brown and let it cool and enjoy. So I'm so excited to test it out. So let's, I just can't wait. I simply can't wait. It has two pizzas. This is the first one with a cardboard. Of course, before you cook it, make sure you remove it from the cardboard. It's also thin crust. Look how thin the crust is. Okay, so we have a second one. You literally don't need a box. There we go. So first impression, a lot of cheese. Maybe add a little bit more bell peppers, but I tend to add too much, I guess. So definitely a lot of cheese and what's in the sauce? Tomato sauce. This is a red sauce based pizza with three cheese and vegetables on top. This is what it looks like. You can see it has some salt and pepper and some parsley. You can definitely see the ingredients and it's definitely really, really thin. Wow, interesting. Cauliflower. Can you tell it's cauliflower? I can't tell it's cauliflower. It looks like real pizza and it smells like real pizza. So it's basically like real pizza, except for it's made of cauliflower. So we're going to put it on my pan. Okay, so now my pizza is in a pan. There's no baking sheets. 
first impression looks pretty good looks pretty fresh let's just hope i don't drop it and yeah it feels like real pizza you can see from the crust the crust looks pretty good initially i was like it's probably gonna taste like crumbly i don't know what it tastes like yet but it seems like it's pretty pulled together the crust so so far so good so far first impression very good but let's just hope it tastes good uh you can also put some meat on there and you can also buy the three meat one i guess but this is vegetarian so we're gonna wait for the oven to preheat to 425 degree fahrenheit and we will put it into cookie yeah Ooh, she's is pretty brown so i think it's good to go let's turn it off turn it off need my gloves ha okay let's go pizza Ooh, that looks good that's actually pretty good it's actually pretty good you can put whatever medium wine on top but here we go Okay, booyah! Alrighty, pizza is here. Oh, it looks pretty good. It, it looks pretty crispy, but I don't know how the texture is gonna turn out. And let's try it. It's a lot of cheese. I can tell it's not pizza crust. You can tell? <laughs> it's a little bit chewy. It's crispy on the outside. Okay, let's try one more time. Mm. The outside is very, very crispy. The inside though, it <laughs> is pretty crispy, but it has chewiness in the very center middle. This tastes like cheese pizza though. It's okay. You like it? I eat this again. This is fine. What is it? If I can tell, it's not pizza dough. It's cauliflower. Mmm, cauliflower. That's not bad. Maybe put some pepperonis on it. Yeah, but overall, I think the cheese taste, cheese flavor is good. The sauce ratio is fine. Mm -hmm. But for sure, the outside tastes better than the middle. Mm -hmm. The middle is way more mushy. But this, I would eat the crust. Normally, I don't eat crust, but I eat this crust. Because it's pretty thin and crispy on the outside. You have to cook it uh, on a rack, and that might make the middle crispier. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I think like this, the middle doesn't cook good because the air doesn't circulate under it. So yeah, next time we'll try to cook it on the rack. Yeah, middle, the first bite definitely is just too mushy feeling. It doesn't have a good, good mouth feel. But after you get to the crispier parts, it tastes totally good. Like the flavors and toppings are, are good. I really like the flavor. Yeah, the toppings are good. Like the cheese is pretty good. Great cheese. Yeah, you can tell. Overall, I will give it a... It's an 8. Mm, solid 8. I will give it an 8.5. 8.5. Because I think it's our fault not to cook it on the rack, like on the like air out rack. It's not our fault. I didn't do it. It's your fault. I just eat it. But I like it. So if you're wondering what we're talking about, we're talking about adding this rack on top of the pan. 
So instead of putting it on a pan, we would just put it on this rack and put the rack on the pan. So it actually airs out underneath the pizza and it will probably gonna make the center a little bit more crispy. So I think it's our fondant to cooking it the perfect way. So I will give it a 8.5. You can definitely tell this is not regular pizza dough, but the flavor is so good and the edges are so thin and crispy and we actually really like it. So highly recommend you put it on top of a rack. So yeah, we have another one so we can use it for the next one. Yeah, this has good though cheese to sauce ratio, but definitely would be better if it had pepperonis or some sort of, need some sort of meat product for me. This is the vegetarian flavor. So well, I'm not they a vegetarian. They intentionally, I didn't see it. I didn't, I didn't see the three meat option in Costco. I was gonna buy you the three meat option. Yeah, I'm a carnivore. I need meat. I was gonna buy the three meat option for him, but we didn't see it. We only saw the vegetarian option, so I just bought it. But I think there's a three meat option too, so we need to find it to see if I, our Costco sells it. Overall, on the list, I can rebuy this. Yeah, we're gonna rebuy this and we're gonna try to find different flavors. I will give it an 8.5. And I think overall it's pretty good. Like to me, I felt like if there's a little bit more vegetables, I'll give it a nine. Because <laughs> no. I like vegetables. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for today's review video. Overall, it's a total success, except for the rack part. But next one, we have one more. It's a pack of two. So we're definitely gonna improve our cooking method and make it even better next time. But overall, we highly, highly, highly recommend this item. It's definitely very tasty and very easy to make. It's only like 15 minutes. Yeah, I think it tastes good. Again, yeah. on the list. On the list, yeah, you made it. Cauliflower pizza. So now we found the two great items, cauliflower rice and cauliflower pizza. Maybe many more. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. If you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps me out to push this video to more people to try this new pizza, cauliflower pizza. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out any future content. And check out our other Costco haul videos and Costco food review videos. And comment down below, what do you recommend? What's your favorite food to try at Costco? And we would love to try them out. So, and yeah. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Happy eating. Bye.